Before we get into the video, we want to thank our sponsor, BetterHelp. I know getting into therapy can be really intimidating, but BetterHelp makes it so much easier to start. I know for me personally, getting into therapy was tricky, but um, once I found the right therapist, it was amazing. The amount of things you just learn about yourself that you were not even aware of is actually crazy. It's so nice to talk to somebody and get feedback and what you can do to better yourself. And I think mental health is just as important as physical health because if your brain is not well, you're not well. So I think it's super important. I have really, really benefited from it and I feel like I've definitely changed as a person in a better way. To get started, just go to their site. You can use our link, betterhelp.com slash Carly and Erin. You'll answer a few questions and then they will match you with a licensed therapist who has years of experience and can give you helpful, unbiased advice. You will be matched usually within 48 hours and you can do your sessions from your phone or computer via phone call, video chat, messaging, whatever you are the most comfortable with. It is literally the easiest way possible to start talking to a therapist. And you can do that by visiting betterhelp.com slash Carly and Erin, or you can choose Carly and Erin during sign up and you'll get a special little discount promotion on your first month of therapy. Thank you, BetterHelp. This day? Oh my God. Oh wow. Wait, this is the perfect car for filming. Yeah, this is actually, can I, <laughs> can I borrow this car? Erin, <laughs> I'm sweating. I know, oh, me too. Can I turn this down? Yeah. Oh. We still don't know how to work this car. Wait, guys. This is sick. This looks amazing. It, do I just put light up here? It's like all, it's like we're on punk. Smell, smell. <laughs> you guys aren't in it. <laughs> in my mukbang, so, uh, Carly goes, wait, what kind of sauce is this, Thousand Island? And I go, it's orange. And none of us addressed it afterwards. <laughs> um, this is probably the most beautiful one. Okay, so it looks like it's three different layers. It, it looks yeah. like those sand things as a kid. <gasps> yes. yes. That's why it's giving me nostalgia. It also kind of looks like a popsicle. It's so evenly distributed. I'm like impressed. No, I know. And the fact that it didn't like morph yeah. while we were driving. Well, what happens if you give it a little? Oh. Nothing. 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 It's Let's solid just, as a rock. Well, let's give it a 7.0. No. Let me go to Air One. <laughs> Winnie Harlow. It's oh. called the Winnie. Island Glow Smoothie. This is going to be interesting because I feel like all the layers are going to taste different. I agree. Like but when we can just stick our straw. Yeah. yeah. You guys aren't going to introduce me to a little backstory on how I got my start. <laughs> okay, I'm trying. Mmm. Okay, blue. Yummy. Blue. I don't know what it is, but it tastes good. Yeah, it was like pineapple. It's like giving like cotton candy. Yes. Like it's like that ice cream. Oh, that's good. Wait, the blue is so good. I don't know what the red is either. Red okay. is. Some sort of berry for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be pineapple or something. It is pineapple. This is fucking phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Wait, how much? <laughs> I, was, I think I was gonna say fantastic. Phenomenal. I you said it so confidently, I thought <laughs> you were just saying that word. No. Is it pineapple? I think. Yeah, it's Maybe, definitely or mango, pineapple. Or mango. Yeah, like mango. I bet Carly's life is pineapple. <laughs> My life. <laughs> <laughs> so we think. Some, what the heck is the bottom? Maybe the bottom is like some sort of yogurt with something blue. A yogurt it is blueberry. so cotton candy. Yeah, and then the middle is some sort of berry, whether it's like a raspberry, a strawberry. I'm thinking it's strawberry because it looks like there's, well, no, it could be raspberry, like dried raspberry or strawberries on the top. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a fan of the red layer. I like it. Red. And I don't think, I think the top layer might be mango. It tastes like frozen pineapple chunks. You would know he's healthy. Mm -hmm. Now I'm getting the taste of all of them. How many shekels did this run us back? Mm. Shuckles. <laughs> you want to guess? For all three of them? Yeah. $68. That's literally pretty much exactly what it wow. was. Wow. <laughs> Is anyone else I shocked remember, by this? No. Not anymore. No, we're just used to it. We're just accepting <laughs> yeah. this fact that this smoothie is $21. The one thing about Josh, will never accept that a smoothie is $20. And the one thing is we will not make this money back. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this no, is, has, we have better help. This is ridiculous. Go I mean, ahead. it is. Uh, yes. If you, yeah. I mean, if I was visiting LA and someone was like, this smoothie's $20, I'd be like, you go f yourself. Yeah. It's called the Island Glow Smoothie. This smoothie is inspired by Winnie's roots in the Caribbean. Oh. It contains wild crafted sea moss, organic what? tropical fruit, and accents of <laughs> coconut and vanilla. Vanilla? Oh, there's mango. There oh, is. Oh, wow. And, and pineapple. And camu camu. Okay. <laughs> Vita Coco Coconut slur word. What? Milk. <laughs> Why they blur out milk? It's M star L K. What? Slur. It's some sort of slur. I was like, what slur is in the ingredients? <laughs> Organic luminous blue spirulina powder. Spirulina. So maybe that's the cotton candy. Yeah, but what? Barcode hydration lemon lime. Barcode, are they just making up words? I think it's the brand. Lemon. Organic dragon fruit smoothie pack. Oh. That's the middle. Dragon yep. fruit. I love dragon fruit. Steen's raw manuka honey, 
Air ones. Ooh, that's good for you, right? Moss. It is, yeah. Mango, pineapple, lime juice, camel camu, coconut cream, pitaya powder, and blue magic. As a former Subway artist sandwich maker, <laughs> yeah. this looks like a nightmare to me. To make. You oh. have to make three different smoothie blends. Oh, yeah, you're I've right. Seen, I saw them making it like um, Sorry, Air One, for in a video, that. and there were different um, machines. And wonder... they're probably not pre-made. Like, you have to make each oh, one fresh. Yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah, so yeah. they made nine different versions for this. Oh. Well, probably just three. Well, they batched them. They oh, because it's the same order. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wonder what the most annoying smoothie they've ever had to make is. I feel like this one. It we need this. to interview uh, an Air One employee. Like an. What? What did I do? It's dripping. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we need to interview like an Air One smoothie specific making employee. Yeah. Don't you guys hate when it snows in LA? <laughs> <laughs> like this, like this. How do we become famous enough to get a smoothie? What do we do? Hmm. Oh, at Air One. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Marry Justin Bieber. He's already married. So timid. Do you think like Tana would get a smoothie? Yeah, like I think I feel like Tana and Brooke could make like a conjoined one. A canceled smoothie. Yeah. You know what's canceled? Anything that's non-organic. It's all whole milk and peanut <laughs> yeah. butter and <laughs> it's so interesting reading the comments on Air One, like when they come out with smoothies, so many people are like, What a shame that you're using raw milk or whole oh, milk. Oh, it's crazy. I'm like, how are vegans supposed to drink this? It's like, <laughs> have you heard of substitution? <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's crazy. If you guys are bored, go on Air One's Instagram and look through the comments. It's I just hilarious. I can't imagine. I also just randomly yesterday was looking at Air One's Instagram and this came out <laughs> literally today. Mm -hmm. By the time it's posted, it'll be like a week, but way to go, Winnie. I feel like they're doing a good job so far mm -hmm. this year. Of these, have they always done these, or oh, yeah. did Haley Bieber start the first one? I think Haley's was the first, like collab. No, no, mm -mm. there were people before her. I think two. That's right. Hers like made it famous. Yeah. Now I'm cold. I know. Me too. <laughs> what do we do? The smoothie. Put the heat on. What do you mean? It was a hypothetical. <laughs> what do we do? What do yeah, we do? Yeah, you always say that. What do we do? Yeah, I'm not looking for an answer. I just need to say something. Uh, next time I'm just gonna be like, I don't know, figure it out. <laughs> Dumb bitch. <laughs> this is one of the most tasty ones. It's so good. Like, I will want to order this on like a hot day in mm -hmm. LA. What would you guys do if like you I went in and just saw The Joe? Would you get it? Yours? Yeah. Oh my god, that'd be the best. It'd probably be so That'd be good. the best content, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like when Jason had his smoothie. <laughs> At What the Peach. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Did you guys ever try, did you ever try my muffin from Muffin no. Can Stop Us? You didn't? I didn't even know that was a thing. I love yeah, Muffin was... Can Stop Us. Did you ever try my, my collaboration? No. What was your collab? They didn't put it on the menu. <laughs> no, <laughs> Let me it, was try like all a, these. it was a secret <laughs> menu item. Yeah. Really oh, bummer. were you actually on did yeah. you have a collab? No, you yeah. was. It was called the Joe Rizzo. There's what did it taste like? Chorizo on English muffin with chipotle aioli, spinach, ooh. cheese. How did you craft that? I went in and we made it. And you're like, ooh, I want to judge this up. I but always yeah. just get the American. The American. Mm. He was like, what do you want? I'm like, I want something different that's not on the menu. I like spicy. I want like an aioli on it. That way it's a, a little more elevated. Honestly, <laughs> they food. should have Biden do one. <laughs> Biden and Trump have both Biden's doing. botanical, like what would his be? Blue magic. <laughs> All blue magic and then Trump's would be red. Red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Did Kate Middleton really get photoshopped into a photo? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. many. They photoshopped her to make it look like she went out? It started as any it, normal day. Let's take it back to December 2023. Oh wow. What okay. if I could just tell this story like Lynn Mel Lynn Manuel Miranda, Miranda and Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> it started back in December 2023. Kate Middleton <laughs> has never since been seen. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, yeah, so in the end of December last year, I'm not really sure the date, I can't remember, um, she was spotted getting taken to a hospital like in the middle of the night or sometime at night, and everyone was like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? And then the royal palace or whatever the fuck, Kensington put out a statement that was like, oh, Kate went in for pre-planned surgery, like no big deal. And then everyone was like, why would you be taken in for pre-planned surgery in the middle of the night? Like that seems weird. And then they were like, she's gonna be in there for 14 days and then she's gonna like resume her responsibilities um, on Easter is when she's gonna like <laughs> come back out again. She'll which resurrect. Is, like, basically like the very last weekend of March. Okay. <clears throat> so then like the- So that's now. Well, Next this week. is- yeah. Oh, yeah. But so people started, like, people really deep in the Royals drama were like, this is fucking weird. Like, what's going on? And then that happened. Then the king got diagnosed with cancer. Then his, Camilla, his wife, like, stepped away. And then, like, weird stuff was going on with William. So everyone was like, what is going on? And they started making all these, like, 
theories like oh Kate gave the king a kidney like stuff like that <laughs> like just silly things yeah. but then obviously there's like a lot of past history trauma with like Diana and you know people like that <clears throat> that they're like maybe something fucking fishy is going yeah, like, on maybe, like, they, maybe they fucking killed her, her. and because that's weird so then it started becoming a problem when they were seeing a lot of discourse online about Kate and the conspiracies and they put out a photo of her driving a car and it is like the grainiest, most pixelated image of all time, like has sunglasses on, looks nothing like her. And everyone what do you mean like, they put out? Like on their Instagram? It was like, <laughs> like they released it, like, like the press. Yeah, like uh -huh. the press Kate. was like, oh, found Kate. photo of Kate driving. But uh, like every photo of her driving is like 4K, like a top notch quality. And then like they released this photo and everyone's like, what the fuck kind of potato did you take this picture on? Right. Um, and so then that started kind of getting people outside of just like people who care about the royals to be like, that's weird what is going on they killed her he he har har and so then that became like a huge thing on the internet then on mother's day is different in the uk yeah it was like last week yeah yeah and they put out a new photo of kate that with like her kids <clears throat> yeah with her children and like there were so many weird discrepancies in the photo like her daughter's sleeve was like clearly blurred and like not finished like it looked ai almost their, some of their fingers were like crossed and weird like it looked like ai yeah and then people noticed like weird shading on her head so people who are good at like photoshop and stuff would like took the picture <clears throat> put it into that and like adjusted the brightness or whatever you have to adjust and it showed that the photo of her face was from her vogue cover <clears throat> Because you could see the word, like, <laughs> Vogue written across her forehead. Shut up. And they just, like, moved the position of her face. And so then everyone was like, what the fuck yeah. is going on? Like, that is guilty. That's weirder. Than, You're guilty. Yeah, yeah. So then everyone's like, she is dead. Like, Kate is dead. But then, be so the, um, the, the, pal the, the palace, palace? Mm -hmm. they well, gave these photos to, like, reputable um, press. And then they obviously were like, oh, it's real. Like, this is Kate on Mother's Day, whatever. But then the internet sleuthed and found out. And then the press got pissed. They had to, I forget what it's called, but like they rescinded all of it, mm -hmm. like deleted it from their like site. Formal, like, and like, remove this. Yes. Which like never happened. They got pissed. Yeah, yeah because they were like, you gave fault. us this fucking faulty oh, stuff. and they like, got pissed at the royal family. Yeah, and we're like reputable sources yeah. for the world. So then the press outlets started them like spilling tea and drama <laughs> to be like and they were like oh prince william's mistress got pregnant it, like we're hearing that prince william's mistress got pregnant and that's what sent kate into a tizzy and she had to go to a mental hospital and that's where she is like stuff like that and then they yesterday because the internet has not slowed down oh, now no, because it's because every day it's like where is she yeah and like it, literally all she could just do is be like hey guys I'm here. No, literally. But so everyone is like coming up with these crazy theories like, oh, she's not cooperating because like Prince William cheated on her or she's not cooperating because X, Y, Z. Kate Middleton is the one who's like a normie that married no, the prince? No, that's, that's Meghan Markle. Oh. Well, yeah, she's still like a normie though, I'm pretty sure. Oh. But she's British. I don't so know. I guess I didn't know yeah. that. But she was... Meghan Markle's the other one. Yeah, the like famous. Yeah. Actor. Oh, okay. She okay. was in Suits. From Suits. <laughs> then they time. put out a video like yesterday. And the royal Joe, family? Yeah, it's so, or like the press. Like the real press. press. Yeah. And like all of them are adamant. They're like, this is her. This is her. I think TMZ was the one to like break it. And they were they sent it to America. They were like, please. <laughs> Get all these people to shut up, but no one is convinced. Uh -huh. Like the video is so far away, they're like shopping at like some like fucking farmer's like market. farmers thing. And Kate, who they're saying is recovering from abdominal surgery, is like carrying the bags. I'm not convinced. I was saying it to Carly. Like, oh, lost a light. sometimes I see her, other times I don't, and like I fall for the yeah, I know the theory because it's just like fun to uh, totally. speculate, but like. Who knows? We have like I'm, a week until I'm she's supposed Easter. to be back. Go Joe, 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 Joe. Joe. No, no, no. Can you just cut this part out? Yeah. We um, can just end it if you want. So we can. No, you don't have to. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.